James A. Michener's Adventures in Paradise. Starring Gardner McKay as Adam Troy. The Archer's Ring. Guest stars Anna Cashby, Wayne Morris. Sam, oh. Sam! Already. Oh, well, I'm going, Sam. I'm flying without you. How much does he owe you? Two quid. Well, there's three. When he comes to, give him another bottle when it's empty, throw him out. No, no, wait just a minute. Just, you can't go away and leave me. Oh! Oh! Grandfather, the truck is here. Mayday, Mayday. Hat tall airways flying boat. Nine aboard. One engine out, second one acting up. Gonna have to put her down. Flying boat, nine aboard. Pilot's putting her down in the middle of the Coral Sea, not too far northeast of us.
Uh, Chen Bo. Uh, uh, plain he no worky, so me fixy. Now you go shore side, okay? Is there anything serious? Oh, so you speak English, huh? Are we far from Saigon? A long way. Too far to fly with a wobbly prop. Why do you put us ashore? Why can't we wait in this plane? Well, it's gonna take hours to fix that prop. Ah. We have decided we would like to stay in this plane. Well, you let me decide, huh? I'm the pilot. Are you leaving us here? Why would I do that? There is a great deal of money on this airplane, Mr. Wickham. In fact, you are aware of. <laughs> well, I'm not going to leave you, Pop. I'm glad to hear it. You know what would happen to us if you left us on that reef? We would starve. That's right, you would. Now, come on, let's get aboard the raft, huh? OK. Oh. Monsieur Troy. Your boss man. Me like you speak with him. Boss man, all the same downstairs. You come along me, we catch him. How does it happen you don't speak Chinese? I'm sorry you were silent, so I didn't think you understood. You should have given me a minute to catch my breath. You didn't have to make fun of me. Oh, now I'm the one who's sorry. Let's start over again. Monsieur Troy's below, mademoiselle. I suppose you speak French, too? Oh, my pigeon's better. Adam? Adam! Captain Troy, Mademoiselle... Le Fabure, and you? Oliver Wendell Key. What can we do for you? An Atoll Airways flying boat was lost some time ago. I'm told you search for it and... Sit down. It was a six-hour sail to where he called from, here in the Coral Sea. We found no wreckage, no survivors. This was found on the beach of the island of Mavacuba last week. It's an archer's thumb ring worn by one of my ancestors during the Han period. It was in the jewel box that my grandfather carried with him when he boarded that plane. Now, Mavacuba is here, Captain Troy, a long way from where the plane went down. And in the opposite direction from Saigon, where the plane was going. Uh, how did you get this ring? On Mavacuva, there is a Chinese merchant, a member of my grandfather's association. A native sold it to him, and he knew from the inscription in it that it belonged to the house of Chen Bo. Well, a ring can't float. A plane can. I take it this ring has some value. A great deal. My grandfather carried other things even more valuable. He, like the other old gentlemen, were going to their homeland to spend their last few years of their lives and then to be buried with their ancestors. How much wealth would you say was aboard the plane? I only know what my grandfather carried. The savings of his whole lifetime in that little store. The others came from different islands. They were merchants and shopkeepers, too. Then they had all of their valuables in the plane, too. I would like to charter your boat to find my grandfather. Now, do you really think there's a chance your grandfather's still alive? There is a man who might be of help, an American. He flew from Nomeo on that plane. Say, Sammy, put your shirt on, Sammy. Two blokes is looking for you. Yeah? What do they want? They didn't say. No drinks now unless they pay for them. And not too many if they do. When you're a blotto, you bust too much crockery. Yeah. Here, take yourself a trip someplace. Button up your shirt. Your 
wife? <laughs> Sounds like it, doesn't it? No, I'm Daphne's genie. She keeps me in a bottle. Anytime she wants something, why she pulls the cork. What do you all want? We understand you flew in on a plane that was lost some time ago. Sorry, I got the shakes a little bit this morning. Well, did you? Yeah. You're looking at a lucky man. For once in my life, whiskey kept me out of trouble. Is that so? What kind of trouble? The worst kind. Getting killed. <laughs> Here's the poor old Red. If I hadn't gotten plaster that morning, I'd be down at the bottom of the Coral Sea with him and those poor old Chinese men. You're lucky, all right. Well, don't rub it in. They died and I didn't. Easy, nobody's blaming you. How could they? It was an old crate. Only thing that was holding it together was chewing gum and spit. I knew it was going down. That's the reason I got drunk that morning. Now, why don't you go away and leave me alone, huh? You haven't told us what we want to know. How could I when I don't know what you want to know? What was aboard the plane? Eight old Chinese. And their valuables. Oh, I don't know. I saw a lot of boxes and bundles. Why all the questions? We've been asked to look for the plane again, this time in a different place. Mavacuva. Hmm. You gonna have a look? Do you think we should? If there's any chance of finding them. Brad was a buddy of mine. Is that enough? Dish water is getting cold, Sammy boy. Fine pal he was. When the bottle's empty, chuck him out, he says. Then off he goes into the wild blue yonder. I wonder what Sam's real reason was for getting drunk that morning. I'm wondering why he didn't bat an eye when you mentioned Mavacuba. Do we take the charter? I think we should. <laughs> for an answer. Have you ever seen the night sky over China, Captain Troy? I don't know. Yes, I've seen it. Are the stars really brighter there than here? Well, that just depends on uh, what stars one was born under, I guess. I was born under these, and I've seen no others. How is it you don't speak any Chinese? Who said I didn't? Oliver. Does he, and do you doubt I am what I said I was? Oh, no. Well, I, I just want to know all there is to know about you. I want you to be more than just a lovely girl named Monique, who was born under a handful of stars someplace. In that case, I'll answer your question. As soon as I could talk, I was put into mission school and forgotten by everybody but my grandfather. When my father died, I came to Villa to live with him. By then, he was too old to think of anything but going home. So I let him. Now, I wish I hadn't. But it's too late for wishes and for looking back. You leave someone back in Villa? I only knew one man well. Oh? Who was that? My grandfather. Adam! Adam! Come here, quick! Where's I find him? Topside. 
in a dinghy. I saw the tarp moving and followed him down to the galley. I got hungry. Yeah, why just stow away? <laughs> you saw that Daphne. I had to get away from that old battle axe. If she ever heard of the laws of slavery, she never paid any attention to them. Come on, it's more than that. Sure is. If I ever saw a guilty looking man, you're it. You wouldn't happen to have a drink aboard, would you? Hmm? All right, so I'm guilty looking. You'd be guilty looking too if you were in my shoes. Eight old men dead, and it's all my fault. You see, I was Rudd's navigator. He couldn't tell north from south flying over the ocean. It was my job to take us over the Coral Sea. So what happens? I get drunk. They'd all be alive today if it wasn't for me. Get him out of here. All right, up forward. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Why didn't you lock him up? I thought it was a murder. I'd sail back to Vila. A pilot who can't tell north from south doesn't fly without his navigator just because he's drunk. This is an unexpected pleasure, sir. I saw your schooner and mistook it for the Copra boat. Welcome to Navacouva. Geoffrey Carey at your service. I'm Adam Troy, Mr. Carey. This is Monique Lefebvre. Miss Lefebvre? Mr. Carey, my partner, Oliver Wendell Key. How do you do? We're looking for Wu Fang. Oh, I'm disappointed, Mr. Troy. I'm, I'd hoped it was me you'd come to see. Visitors seldom come to Navacouva. Wu Fang, you said? Uh, yes, Monique is looking for him. Oh, you'll find him at his store. How do you get there? Oh, it's a miserable road and a miserable place. Let's all drive over to my place and have tea, and meanwhile, my boy will fetch him for you. You? Make yourselves at home. Not bad digs, eh? I bet you didn't expect to see a room like this now, did you? It's a little bit of New Zealand. That's what I like about it. Helps to make me forget I'm living on a blasted island in the middle of nowhere. 
Tea time. There'll be four of us. Well, will your business with Wu Fang keep you here long? If so, my house is yours. We may as well tell you why we're here, Mr. Carey. May I see the ring, Monique? It's an odd piece. I've never seen one like it. It's an archer's thumb ring, Chinese and very old. Oh, you intend selling it to Wu Fang, eh? No, it was found here on Mavacuba. It was Wu Fang who sent it to Monique. It belonged to her grandfather, who was aboard a plane that was supposedly lost in the Coral Sea some time ago. Oh. How in the world did it get here? That's what we'd like to find out. Have you any reports of a seaplane landing or crashing in the area? None. Nothing happens on Mavacuba without me hearing about it. Oh, here's the tea. Thank you. I'm a family man, sir. Wonderful wife, wonderful daughter. Had to send them back to Wellington. This island's no place for a young girl. No proper schools, no proper friends. I'm just counting the days until I can join them. Oh, excuse me. Why are you never in China, fellow Wu Fang? No can come, boss. I'm too much dead. Dead? Better notify the police, Mr. Carey. There are no police on Mavacuba. What do you do when there's trouble? Send to the authorities on Espirito Santo Island. But we've never had trouble. You've got trouble now. This man was beaten to death. Adam. Yes, Oliver. This is his wife. She left her around noon to visit a sick friend. She doesn't know why he was killed or who could have killed him. We know why. Show her the ring, Monique. See if she knows anything about it. Mr. Carey. Will you come outside with me and talk to the islanders? Yes, certainly. You want to wait in the car? I'd like to talk to her. Okay. Keep me up now. Hi, hey, nigga, locum. Hi, hawk. Learn anything? No one was seen entering or leaving the store. There's a back entrance. Whoever murdered Paul Wu Fang could have used that. How about you, Ollie? And lucky for us, she had a sick friend. She knew as much as the old gentleman did. Do you know a man named Toku? He traded the ring to Wu Fang for a pair of boar's teeth. Toku? I can't recall him, but all their names sound alike. It shouldn't be too hard to find him, though. Any idea how long Wu Fang's been dead? One course I neglected to take at college was how to be a coroner. Me find him here, Carrie Tan. There is path from Lagoon. I find him on path. Just the ring and nothing else? Ring on. Tomorrow, you come with us to Lagoon? Uh, take schooner? No good. Too much reef. We take canoe. Fine. First thing in the morning. Does anyone live at the south end of the island, Mr. Curry? Nobody, no. All the tillable lands in the north. There's only scrub jungle down here. Then you could land a plane without being seen. Yes, you could at that, but it wouldn't remain hidden for long. The natives fish up and down that coast. They would have spotted it. Not if it were at the bottom of the sea, Mr. Curry. Find him here, Troitani. You, you like him, Toku? I very much. <laughs> then, uh, then talk along me. 
You find box. You find ring in box, maybe? Not make trouble, Tritani. Me find him plenty pockets long here. Me look in pockets. Take him ring. Then me hear white man come. Me run, quick. You see white man? Uh-huh. Him got red hair. He go lagoon, take off clothes, put on big rubber feet, put on glass face, go swim. <laughs> me run plenty fast. <laughs> you show me where him swim. Uh -huh. shot. Should have been Adam instead of me. What a thing for you to say. I thought you were his friend. If Adam didn't shot, he'd be here having you pet his fever, bro. He'd like to do it again. I like it, too. You're supposed to be asleep. You woke me up. Just to see if you were feverish. Adam's quite a guy. You know that. Yes, I know. I was just going to smoke him out. Smoke who out? We don't even know who lives there. Hey! Hello, my! Le, palave, lave! Suppose I go down and have a look. Better wait here.
Oh, red boy. Drop your gun. Come here. That's far enough. This a long way from the Coral Sea, Red. How'd you get here, swim? Well, you know how I got here. Question is, why aren't you with the others? Well, I wanted to talk to you alone. So? I said to myself, now that old Red, he ain't gonna be caught napping. The minute he sees us, he's gonna try to sneak out the back way. <laughs> what do you got in the sack? Food. Wanna look? Sure. Throw it over. Where's the stuff? We were had, Sam. If they had anything worth stealing, they must have shipped it by boat. So that's the reason you were out taking pot shots at Troy and his partner, huh? Come off it, Red. Well, maybe I lost my head. Uh-uh. Not you. Now, uh, where is the stuff? Now, if I tell you, Sammy, you're gonna knock me off. So I'm not gonna tell you. What are you gonna do about it? Knock you off. That's stuff around here someplace. After things simmer down a little bit, well, I'll come back and have a look. Uh-uh. If you kill me, you don't find it, Sam. True. True. I ought to kill you anyway for going off and leaving me. I did that for your own good. You got a conscience. I didn't want you to live with it. Oh, well, that's mighty thoughtful of you, Red. Of course, you didn't want everything for yourself. <laughs> All right, Sam. You got the upper hand. We'll split. Now, let me go. No, I can't. It's too late. Now, listen. Keep your mouth shut about me. You want me to help you. What's the point in keeping your mouth shut? <laughs> What's the point in opening it? You wouldn't believe me. If you really want to make him talk, Mr. Troy, May I suggest handing him over to some of Toku's friends? I warrant that as children, some of them had redheads for supper. Shall I? Well, I don't think you would. But... I ran into trouble over the Coral Sea and I put the plane down. Now I packed the old men and their belongings into a life raft. They got scared and before I knew it, they were paddling off without me. Well, I yelled at them to come back, but they wouldn't come back. They kept on paddling. Well, the ship was taking water pretty badly, and I patched up some holes in the hull, rigged up a sail, and took off. Well, in about a week, I sighted this island. Somehow, I got through the reef into the lagoon. The bottom was ripped out by a piece of coral, and down she went. That's the end of the story? Carry, carry! What do you see in the plane? Nothing, Gary Tani. No people. Nothing. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? Yeah, you told me. Mr. Troy, you're not swallowing that cock and bull story, are you? What about the attack on you, the ring, and Wu Fang's murder? Short of turning him over to Toku's friends, what else do you suggest I do with him? Lock him up. Where's the light? There's a lamp up in that box. Hey, I'll suffocate in here. Say the authorities the trouble of hanging you. While you're doing it, think about those eight poor old men. Yeah, let's all think about them. Aren't you going to lock it? This bolt will hold it. You couldn't escape without help, and who'd help the rogue? They weren't in the plane. Maybe he ditched them someplace. Ditched them someplace? Where? We're radioing the authorities. They'll be here tomorrow night. We'll get the truth out of them then. I know he's dead. But please tell me he isn't. If he's alive, we'll find him. Red? No, 
I thought you'd never get here. That crew took their time getting asleep. Listen, can you handle a canoe? Yeah. Come here. Go right down here to the water's edge. I've got one hidden on the other side of the lagoon. Take it, go around the island, and hold up. Okay. Hey, get my shoes, will you? Yeah. What happens if I keep on going? You won't. Empty-handed. Go on. How did it happen? Oh, the first time in my life I hit what I was aiming at. Who let him out? If I'm not mistaken, it was Mr. Agnew. My boy should have collared him by now. I saw him sneaking by the house and sent my boy after him while I went back and checked on the storeroom. Then I saw this blighter heading for the beach and followed him. A pity you did. How's that? Dead men can't talk. Live ones can, sir. Andros Island. That's where Red ditched the old man. It's a long way from where he ditched the plane. It's the only island around here that nobody lives on. That's true. Come on. You taking him with you? We have to live aboard the Tiki. We don't want scum aboard. Like I'm in the storeroom. <laughs> Your sister, there'll only be three of us for lunch. I'll tell her. They've gone. Yeah? You shouldn't have been so trusting, Sam. Put it away. I will when I've emptied it. With him looking on? Mm -hmm. 
I wouldn't. The Tiggy's in the next cove. Holly and the men have this place surrounded. I stayed behind to have a little talk with Sam. It took some digging to get to his conscience. Yes, so I see. Well, let's have a look at your safe. Sam. Well, what beats me is why you and Red didn't go south of it before. Neither of us can walk on water. We have to wait for the Copra schooner. Tell me, Troy, how did you see through this innocent facade of mine? You shot too straight, for one thing. For another thing, Sam here said that no one lived on Andros Island and you agreed with him. I've been there. Met one of the prettiest girls I've ever seen on Andros Island. How was I to know that? Besides, you were the only one who never came to see Wu Fang. It was before he was killed. Slob, you great big slob. You think those eight old men are still alive? Make much difference to us whether they are or not. They can't hang us eight times. Make a lot of difference to me. I didn't kill Red, you did. Well, if anyone deserved killing, Mr. Wickham did. He's a proper monster. Not content with marooning eight elderly gentlemen, he beat Wu Fang to death and shot a native. He said that marooning them was your idea. It certainly was not. I wanted them drowned immediately. Weakling. Troy wouldn't have got anything out of me. Not a word. Not even a whisper. Yeah, I wouldn't be too sure about that. He's got a pretty nifty gimmick for getting people to talk. You better say a prayer or two, Sam. While you're about it, you might say one for my wife. The old girl's going to be a bit down in the mouth when I come back to Wellington in a box with a rope around my neck. But perhaps that's better than not having me come home at all. Part of port. You know, I'm beginning to see my own eyeballs. Uncharted island to port. I don't believe it. Look at him. 
over a month on this little chunk of sand and coral, and they're all still alive. Just the belly, Captain. Just the belly. Make her fast and start on the stern spring line. Let's start getting the gaskets off. That's good. Put her on the winch. All right, make her fast. Hello? Hello. I received a cable from Saigon. They all arrived safely. I'm glad to hear that. Where's Ollie? Ollie's below somewhere. Tell him goodbye. I will. Adam? Yes? Will you come back sometime? 